Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about writing and appending to files in Python. So one of the cool things about Python is it allows you to work with external files. So I could have like an external text file and I could actually like completely read all of the information in it. I could parse through it, use that information to do certain things. But in addition to reading a file, I could also write a file. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today is writing new files and appending onto existing files. Over here, I basically just have some code written out. And this essentially just reads information from this employees.txt file. So you can see over here, I'm specifying the mode, which is R, and that stands for read. And then down here, I'm just reading all of the contents of the file and spitting it out on the screen. So I'm going to click the play button over here and you'll see that it, this executes. So it's printing out all of the lines of code in our text file. So over here, I'm in this employees.txt file and it just has all this information like employees in an office. But let's say that I wanted to add another employee onto here, right? Let's say that a new employee joined our company so we wanted to add them onto this list. Well, I can come over here to my app.python file and instead of reading from the file, I want to append to the file. So I want to say A. And appending to the file basically, basically means that you're adding some text at the end of the file. So wherever the file ends, you're just going to add some text onto there. So what we can do is we can actually add another employee into the file. So instead of printing something out, I'm actually just going to say employee file dot write. And when I say employee file dot write, I'm going to be able to write something to the end of the file. So I can basically just write whatever I want. So why don't we add in another employee into our employees dot text file? So we can add in another employee. Why don't we say like Toby and he's going to be in human resources. So now when I run this program, it's going to add Toby human resources onto the end of the file. So I'm going to run my program. And you'll see that nothing shows up down here in the console. But if I go over to my employees.txt file, all of a sudden we have a new entry over here. It's Toby from Human Resources, right? So I was able to append a line onto the end of this file. But here's the thing you need to be careful when you're writing to files because you can actually mess up a file very easily. For example, I already added Toby here into my file. But if I was to run this program again, you'll see that over here in this employees.txt file, it went ahead and added Toby again, right? So it added this employee here again. And also you'll notice that in this case, this employee didn't go on to the next line. I accidentally ran my file again and all of a sudden it messed up this file over here. And so appending, you really need to be careful because if you accidentally run your file again, or if you, you know, append something on something wrong to the file, it's permanent, like it's getting saved inside of the file. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about, you know, appending another thing we could do, let's say we wanted to add another um, employee. And you'll notice over here in this employees.txt file, when I appended it on again, it got appended to the end of the existing line, right? So the first time I had a new line there, but if you don't have a new line at the end of your file, and you all and you want to add a new line, you're going to have to add some special characters. So let's add another employee and we'll call her Kelly. And let's just say Kelly is in customer service. So Kelly is going to be in customer service. And if I want to add this employee onto the end of the file in a new line, I'm going to have to put a new line character in front of it. So I can say backslash N and this will append this entry into the file with a new line, so on a new line. So now when I run this, you'll see we get Kelly from customer service on her own line. So you want to make sure that you're aware of like these special characters that you can use. They call them escape characters. And you know, anytime you're adding onto a file, you want to make sure that you're adding on exactly where you want to add on. So in addition to appending to a file, I could also just like overwrite a file or I could write an entirely new file. So since we already have this open, instead of appending to the file, why don't we just write a file? So I'm going to use this W. And now if I say employee file dot write, 
because I'm using W and I'm not using A, it's actually gonna override the entire file and it's only gonna put this inside the file. So when I run this and we go over to this employees.txt file, you'll see we only have one line inside of this file now. It's just Kelly customer service. That's because I was using W, not A. And when you use W, it's just overwriting everything that's in that existing file. You can also use W to create a new file. So over here, I could say employee file is equal to employees1.txt. And now what's gonna happen is when I run this, it's gonna create another file for me. So I'm gonna run this and you'll see over here in my file browser, we have this new file employees1.txt. So if I open this up, it has exactly the same stuff as in this employees file but it basically created a new file for us. And so a lot of times you're gonna to wanna to create a new file and you can use different extensions too. So if I wanted to create like a web page, I could say index.html and I could also add in some HTML code in here. So if you don't understand HTML, don't worry about it. But if you do, I could put like a paragraph in here, another paragraph like this is HTML. Basically HTML is like a web page. Um, and the point I'm trying to make is that you could write out a web page inside of Python by doing something like this. So now when I play this, we get this index.html file and it has some HTML inside of it. So that's one way that writing to files can be really useful. You can overwrite an existing file, you can write a new file and create it, or you can append on to the end of a file. And um, there's tons of applications for writing to files and Python's a great language for working with reading, writing, and doing all that stuff with files. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.